Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Now, before we begin, if you've not played the game or if you've made very little progress, do not watch this video. Having said that, welcome to the Gerudo Desert. But man, it's a very hot day, but things are looking quite nice, except, oh look, there's the Deku Tree. Today, I'm gonna to turn you into God using the Libra VR memory editor for use within the Wii U emulator, Simu. Just before diving into the editor, let's go over a few prerequisites. Of course, the first thing you need to do is download it, link in the description. Secondly, once it's on your desktop, right click, go to properties and make sure in compatibility that you run as administrator. This is important. Secondly, in your Simu folder, make sure that you have not renamed the exe and it just has its default name. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is open it up just so that you get an idea of the interface. Now, this thing is very powerful. The latest version has just been updated and it is 2008J. This should work on just about any version of Simu and any version of Breath of the Wild. However, that's not guaranteed. What I'm testing today is Simu 1.11.3 with Breath of the Wild 1.4.1 with DLC 3.0. And that is a lot of points, as you always say. So this is what we're going to do. With the game loaded into your save and the memory editor open, what we're going to do is click scan memory. Okay, what this is going to do is find your inventory. And from there, we will be able to make the edits that we want to make. So I'm just in Hyrule Field, just going around, minding my own business. And it's a bit of a rainy day so give the editor a few seconds to find everything now what we'll do is we'll jump straight into the meaty things that you care about but very quickly we have inventory weapons archery shields armors materials food other money slots so some of the main things that you care about first okay we're going to go into experimental first of all let's just dive a little bit into the field Okay, so what we have here is we can set weapons, bows, and shields to unbreakable. All you need to do is tick these boxes. Okay, so simply do that. If it says found offset, that means it's been a success. Now, it didn't find bows or weapons, so what you're going to do is take a bow out, take a weapon out, it can be anything really. And there you go, it found the offset. But look, the game became a little bit stuttery. I'll talk about that in a second. Next up, we're gonna try and lock health and stamina. Now, I should note that this is a little bit unpredictable. So let's try health. Okay, we found it this time. Let's try stamina. We found both of them. Okay, sometimes this might be a problem. If it is, let me refer you to my FPS++ cheats video where you can also lock health and stamina. Okay, so let's address the stuttering that we have here. Okay, what we're going to do is where it says timing, so we're going to change this to 150. And we're going to change the spacing to, we'll try 50 first. Okay, that looks a bit better. Um, if we quote the creator of the memory editor directly, he says this will force the thread to release CPU time after each CPU consuming action. So basically, if we have the unlocked stamina, uh, we can run. You can see that there's a bit of a delay before it refills. Now, if we change the spacing even more, the delay will be even bigger before the refill. But sometimes I've noticed that the more things you activate, the more spacing is required. So stamina refills, let's check on health. Okay, so that should refill in a moment. There you go. So the spacing relates to how quickly the skill or ability re recharges, refills. Okie dokie, so there's some of the very cool ones. Let's go on to the Divine Beast powers, okay? Same idea again. Tick, 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 tick. So that's Mifa, Rivali, Urbosa, and Daruk. Give the memory editor a second to find the addresses. And there you go. Your divine powers will never run out. 
Okay, let's get back on the ground. Um, what next? Okay, Amiibos. So, if you want to unlimit Amiibos, you can do that. Let it find the address, etc, etc. In Simu, it's very easy to do this. You're simply going to go NFC, scan NFC, and then use your Amiibo file. If you need to find Amiibos, just Google NFC Bank and you'll find everything that you need right there. Moving forward, we also have a speed effect, okay? <clears throat> so, let's say you are God in this game. Um, maybe you want to travel very, very quickly. Okay, so let's just go with speed up. And we are gradually going to get faster and faster and faster. But this isn't quick enough for me, you know. So, let's try 200. And then we'll just click update. Okay, and now we are just going to go at this, well... <laughs> very very quickly now let me show you something quite interesting uh, let me just oh okay so here when you travel this fast you get to an area quicker than the area can load so it causes some problems <laughs> okay one thing I've noticed once you are in the air at this speed and you bring out the paraglider you can effectively fly around the map um, so if you've ever wanted to do that there you go um, let's restore some normality, okay? Let's click default speed and let's drop back to the ground. So already we're seeing some of the power of this memory editor. Now, another cool feature which is absolutely fantastic. As many of you know, Simu is quite a CPU hog. So let's say you want to get your PC back for a moment. We can kind of hit the kill switch. So just at the bottom here, we can pause the game. Now this will pause Simu as a process and you will regain your system again. If you want to immediately get back into the game, you just click resume. So there you go, very cool, simple little uh, kill switch. Now there are a few additional features I'd like to talk about. Um, custom weapons, bows, shields, arrows. In this area, I'm not going to focus on these at all, okay? But you can dive into them to add some of your own uh, little tweaks. But that will require your own time. Let's go back to what the game, well, what the memory editor has to offer natively. <clears throat> okay, so if we take a look at weapons, for example, we have some values here. Uh, quantity and duration. So duration will pertain to weapons but if we go to food then of course that's quantity so all you really need to do is for example change the value click update and there you go um, same with weapons so let's say uh, you wanted to change its strength you would just change this number you can give it a, a bonus and the bonus value and then you just click update um, for example let's change some clothing Okay, let's go into my uh, inventory and let's say we want the rubber armor. So let's find rubber armor. Where are you? There you go. And then we go to the drop down, which basically has every item in the game. And we want the rubber armor to become... Let's turn the rubber armor into the salvager vest. Then click update. Okay, you won't see any change in real time there, except for the name. If we back out, go back into our inventory, then there you go. It changed to the salvager chest. So it's very, very simple to update and make any edits that you want to do like that. It's basically almost limitless. Um, of course, you can do that with materials, food, other, uh, even money. Okay, we have 10,731 rupees. If I show you that very quickly, press start. Um, what we'll do, let's say 50,000, you click update. And then we will have 50,000 rupees. Okay, so you get the idea about what is and what isn't possible. Now, for me, this is not exactly the most interesting thing in the game. And we will get to that very, very shortly. Um, slots. So you can add extra slots if you want more weapon slots, bow slots, and shield slots. The problem is you can't really add to your list. As far as I know, you can't add to the lists. Um, you can swap, but you can't add. So what you need to do is get into the world of spawning items. Now, 
this is where things get very, very interesting. Okay, let's go into weapons, for example. <clears throat> we need to find out some weapon IDs. Okay, now people always get concerned about their Hillian shields. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you to a complete list of items provided by Mr. Cheese. Now, this is just endless. This has NPCs, uh, little characters, trees, bushes, enemies, AI, you name it. But let's not get too complicated. Let's say I want the Hillian Shield. In Chrome, Google Chrome, I'm going to press Control F and I'm just going to type Hillian. Okay, there's a few, as you can see, too many Hillians. Let's try Hillian Shield. Okie dokie. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to copy this weapon shield. Okay. And then we're going to go back into the editor and we're going to go to archery. Okay. We are going to change one of our arrows to the Hillian shield. So all we're going to do is copy the ID, click update. Now watch this very carefully. I'm going to press the arrow. I'm going to hold left for arrows. And oh dear, we have a Hillian shield. Now, watch what happens when I go to fire this arrow. We are giving birth to the Hillian shield. Now, you might find that this uh, spawning of items can lead to additional stuttering. So, you never have to worry about your Hillian shields uh, <laughs> ever again. But this is only a minor thing that we can do. Let me show you something a bit more exciting because, of course, God has the power to create. And so shall ye. Let me show you this. Going back into the items list, I'm going to find the Deku tree. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, I know for a fact that... Which one is it? I want this one. Okay. Now, this is all a, a process. So... There are thousands of items here that you can just play with. Some work, some don't. Now, when it's a small item, I recommend changing it with an arrow. If it's something big, like the Deku tree, then I highly recommend that you change the bow. Okay, so let me let me show you that. Let me show you how that works. I'm gonna change one of my bows. So let's change the duplex bow. And we're going to edit the ID with the Deku tree. Then I click update. Now I'm going to pull out my bow and I'm going to hold. <laughs> As you can see, I'm still spawning Hillian shields. I'm going to hold right on the D-pad. Now, uh, as you can see, it says no image. That no image is going to be the Deku tree. Watch this. Okay, so let's go a little bit away so we can actually get a good look at this. And we have spawned the Deku tree, but it's it's very, very big. So we need to get a little bit further away than we are right now. Okay, and let's see if we can get a good view on that. So, um, hello, there is the Deku tree. Now, um, there are some positives and negatives to creating your own world. Um, these objects don't really behave particularly correctly and they will not stay uh, if you save. For example, if you reload, they are gone. So this is purely for fun. Now, as I say, some items may cause crashes. Some items do not work. Um, so remember, this process is a little bit hit and miss. Now, remember what I said for a very small item. You can just use arrows, but for something big, you should substitute it for a bow. Otherwise, it will crash. I should note that with this level of memory editing, issues and glitches are... Don't be surprised if you have some problems. One thing I will say is if you reload your game, you should once again click scan memory and re-tick the things that you want to have turned on. So there you go, people, an effective god mode in Breath of the Wild. Have fun, especially with spawning items and structures and enemies, even calamity, you know, 10 calamity cannons if you want. And make sure to comment down below your experience 
and please if you make anything interesting especially if you find a way to create your own mini Hyrule for example feel free to send me a link because I'd love to see what you come up with I believe that this is kind of limitless what we can achieve here so go crazy have fun and let me know how you get on just as a final note I would like to add that if you find yourself in a unrecoverable mode of stuttering then simply loading your save should do the job and recover your situation so even with this lengthy video I didn't quite cover everything but if you enjoyed the video thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down and if you want to see more content from me remember to subscribe